hello guys welcome to cognitive hub in this video i am gonna explain you guys about another component from aws family that we use in talent studio to connect uh, like to send your files from local to the aws s3 buckets and that is nothing but uh, ts3 put component and now without wasting any time let's dive into the topic here i am gonna create a new job with name as a ts3 put component demo So here as a part of first step, I'm going to create a S3 connection with the access scan secret key. And here I'm using the existing ones. Saving it. Now the connection was successful and then now and the component that i'm using is ts3 put so basically what this particular component will do is so whatever the files that you want to send it from local to the aws s3 buckets then you can do it here from here so the major thing that you need to put here is here i'm clicking existing connection one is you need to select the bucket name where you want to send that and you want to if you wanna give some path then you can mention that in the key or if you wanna mention whatever the file name that you wanna store it as you can mention that in the key and you can in the file or stream section you just need to select the local path where that particular file is so here as part of this particular tutorial i have created a sample employee file with 1kb of size i am gonna send this particular file to s3 bucket here the one that i am sending is a snowflake learning bucket json inside that we don't have this particular uh, employee.csv so now i am gonna store that but i am gonna send that particular file from my local to the s3 bucket so for that uh, here the configuration that i'm gonna do is just a very basic thing snowflake learning bucket here the major part is uh, how you are giving the configurations and all is the major thing in here in the file or stream i'm just selecting it as on the desktop i have employee file i am opening that so it is there so here in the key in the snowflake bucket i want to open the json directory and inside that i want to store it as employee.csv that's it these are the configuration that you need to do and i am connecting these two with on sub job ok and as a last step i am closing this I'm closing with on sub job ok that's it save it so basically what it will do is it will take the file from my local desktop uh, employee.csv and then paste it in a uh, lot uh, cop yeah um, placed it in a uh, aws s3 bucket in the snowflake learning bucket i'm running this job So if you see the output, uh, the first thing it will get connected, it is saying something. It is just a warning, you can just ignore that. So if I go through this one, if I refresh this, this S3 JSON bucket, and the employee.csv, yeah, it is there, the employee.csv. So this is how uh, the files from your local system to, you can send that from local to the, like, uh, the s3 buckets so this can be done in any way like uh, you can do some transformations inside the talent studio and then at the end of the time at the end of the job you can just have uh, transfer that to some other uh, some secret path or something in the aws aws s3 s3 buckets so that is how you will use the s3 bucket as a like a ts3 put component and in the coming video i am going to explain you about how to retrieve the files from s3 buckets to talent studio and you can how you will use that i am going to explain that in the coming videos using ts3 get component so that is all for this video guys thank you for watching